Hey guys, this is Hafiz. Today we're going to talk about the excessive smoke coming out of the exhaust pipe and the def is not removed on this truck and uh, still is smoking a lot and we're going to diagnose it and I'm going to show you how I diagnose this truck. So I purchased this truck under warranty and uh, uh, I, I drove the truck, took a test drive, everything was alright, but after uh, a couple hundred miles I saw the truck was giving some issues with the region and also it was acting up so I dropped it to the dealer and they diagnosed that the, the one box need to be replaced and uh, there's a problem with the head gasket and uh, I told them to go ahead and repair it because it, it was all under warranty so they replaced everything. As per dealer, the head gasket was leaked and the antifreeze was going through the system and uh, it messed up the whole dev system and that's why they have to fix the problem which is head gasket and also replace the, the whole one box. So I pick up my truck now. Alright, so I just uh, picked up this truck from the shop and I drove like a thousand miles. It was running okay after a brand new... Uh, filters def the one box and everything was replaced on it and it's uh, uh, it also replaced the head the top head on that the gasket it was replaced and uh, also I put a, a new thermostat on it so a lot of work was done on it it cost like $19,000 on our repairs so And everything was covered under warranty except the thermostat today I'm going to show you uh, the result after I replace my uh, def system the whole one box is replaced on this truck and uh, I want to show you how it came out so I don't know if it's because of the the def system or uh, it's because of uh, injectors or uh, EGR cooler, but it's uh, con continuously it's a smoking white and gray smoke. So I don't know what is that. I try to observe the truck. I don't see any leaks except the one behind the turbo. I don't know if it's that. I don't know what is that uh, so I'm gonna start the truck okay, so I'm gonna start the truck all right so I have a check in your light on can see it's a lot of smoke coming out it's not the cold start it's not the cold start it's a smoke coming out of the exhaust and I just put the brand new one box on it and as you can look at the smoke it's not a uh, normal so this one's It's a continuous smoke. If you see any smoke from the exhaust, it could be from the turbo side. So I'm looking for any possible uh, uh, turbo leak. Uh, if there is uh, oil come through the system, it can go through the exhaust. I don't see any leak from the turbo, so I don't think it's a turbo because a little bit white and grayish smoke and uh, the cooler level is low and uh, the color is different. As you can see the resolve wall tank is looking really dirty so I would recommend to open the cap and uh, observe the antifreeze and uh, see if that is the reason. 
I'm just gonna take it uh, to the dealer again and get it checked out why it's doing this and why there is so much smoke coming out of the exhaust it was not doing this before it just happened right after I change my one box I'll show you inside the truck. As you can see, the def light is on, it's full. And then, uh, I'm trying to see if there is uh, any kind of uh, vibration or engine sound difference and that could be due to injectors and the truck is shaking so I'm just gonna shut it off and then uh, tow it to the shop I don't want to drive it all right so the truck smoke just changed the color from white to gray so I'm trying to See if it's related to the uh, fuel injectors or it's related to the it's related to the fuel or maybe the antifreeze leak somewhere. Alright, I will update you guys soon. Another thing I noticed that the my reserve wall tank the color is changed so I don't know what's going on and I just want to check the level of the coolant so the coolant level is low and I don't see any mix or so I don't know if it's the EGR Uh, I'm just trying to see if I see any leak because uh, a lot of smoke coming out of the exhaust so it could be because of the coolant um, or is leaking or going through the uh, exhaust somehow like the EGR cooler so I'm just gonna notice what it is all right so I decided to observe the exhaust pipe area and I noticed that uh, um, I smell a lot of uh, uh, diesel from the exhaust area and uh, I am going to touch that area and uh, try to smell it and uh, it looks like uh, a lot of diesel smell so in this case uh, as my truck was uh, shaking when I hit the RPM and uh, the sound was totally different and now I smell diesel from the exhaust pipe it give me a, a straight answer for my problem which is a, a fuel injectors so I'm going to tow this truck to the shop and so if you know how like you know it's real dirty if you can see dirt marks all on the ground stuff like that It. It, smell like diesel. it smell like diesel yeah is it all right so the dealer diagnosed the problem and uh, he said it's uh, fuel injectors so uh, as I mentioned earlier they replaced my head gasket and I um, talked to them and I say uh, I just uh, had this truck uh, uh, did the head gasket and they were supposed to look at the fuel injectors at that time and uh, the previous Freeliner shop they didn't do the right job and they skipped that part so I'm not responsible uh, to pay for uh, doing the same job again because they already fixed it so once the injectors go bad they can uh, create a lot of smoke and they can make your uh, uh, def filters and everything dirty again and uh, the Freeliner recommended me to replace the whole one box again so 
they covering it under warranty under freelander warranty but i have to cover my injectors under my personal uh, truck warranty so that was a problem and because of the bad injectors your one box or your fuel filter i mean your filters can go bad and uh, you have to do the whole system again and that could be the same problem if your egr cooler or your turbo go bad you still have to replace the the filters for the def and because they they create a lot of smoke and because of that your system will be contaminated and you have to replace that or clean uh, those filters so i hope uh, this video helped you guys and uh, please let me know if uh, uh, you guys need any more information and please subscribe the channel thank you so much